I noticed that my uh, all my local stores recently have been reducing the amount of uh, DVDs and increasing the amount of Blu-rays and quite often the movie that I want is only available as a, as a Blu-ray. For example, I like, I like the movie 12 Rounds and now they came up with 12 Rounds 2 and I love the fact that they use these, you know, super strong muscular guys, you know, because when I watch that it makes me feel like I want to do some exercises, you know. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to watch this video. Guess what? It's only available in Blu-ray, you know. And I, th I thought this happened today. I thought this is it. I want to do something. And I started a research online if it's possible to watch Blu-rays on the Mac because I got an external drive called SuperDrive, but that just plays DVDs because my Mac computer doesn't have any built-in built -in, uh, DVD player, right? And so I, I did purchase that $79 uh, uh, smart drive, I think it's called, right? And so I searched online and Googled and I found out that, yeah, it is possible. All you gotta do is just buy a, a third-party Blu-ray like this. This is what, this is the only one that my local Best Buy carried, Asus Blu-ray combo. And I did not need a writer. Because this one also writes uh, DVDs, like it, it just reads um, Blu-rays, but it can read and write DVDs. Hundred bucks. So I got this. Oh, and that uh, my search online also, the search results also said that uh, besides the hardware, you also need a software. But what I like about this is that this one has this magic logo, Mac, right? And also it comes with the software. And so I'm gonna try it out now. All right, what do we got here? I guess this is the, oh, it's a stand. Because yeah, according to this picture, you can put it vertically. And there's a disc. There's a... <laughs> what is this? Some kind of a... Now what I want to know is where's the... Oh, there you go. I, I was getting... I was getting weird because I know without the cable it's not going to work. So we got the cable. We got the cool looking... Wow, look at this. What? A hole in here? I guess that's the front. Huh. Okay, let me just uh, read the instructions because, of course, I have to load the software. Maybe I have to go back to uh, my my truck and get the DVD player.
It's weird, but they say that for power, for best power, you should cal can you should connect both of these to your computer. Like on my computer, I only have I have one USB port on each side. So the manual I checked says you might need an extension. <laughs> what kind of stupid design is this? Look, see the cable has two USB. Uh, two USB connectors but I don't see any discs in here but well this one is empty right let's just see what happens when I put in a I know I'm supposed to install some software here. Oh, look, see this? Yeah, I tried the, uh... I tried the disc that uh, came with this uh, player and all the files here are Windows files so there's nothing there for uh, Mac and this quick thing here quick sheet does say something that uh, Mac OS supports burning to Blu-ray disc to a Blu-ray disc you need to purchase a third-party software if you want to play movies from Blu-ray disc. Okay, here's one software I found. It's called uh, IZ Soft Mac Blu-ray Player. So you can do a free trial. So this is just the software. Okay, I purchased that IZ Soft online and it's now downloading well the software downloaded I double click clicked on it it opened up this little window here so now I'm supposed to uh, drag this to my to my application folder And that's it. This should complete the. Um, so it's called A I S E E S O F T I Z Soft Mac Blu Ray Player. But of course, this is just the. Uh, this is just the software. And actually, I noticed one thing. As soon as I download this, now the the logo for the uh, for the actual player for the hardware now has the name on it. It says IZ Soft Mac Blu-ray Player. You know, before it was just a picture of. Uh, see what I'm talking about? I'm talking about this thing over here. Uh, before it was just a picture of a disc, like a generic disc, like a memory card. Now it says this on it. So let's see what happens if we put in a blue Blu-ray disc. Jesus. I hope I didn't break it. Yeah, so why is it not playing? Eject. Okay, so I, I did not start the actual application because it was downloaded from the internet. My Mac blocked it, but now I was able to open it. 
Now I just need to enter my uh, activation code. So the software is registered. Right away I saw a choice open file, open disk. I clicked open disk. It gave me a choice of that one it, that, because that's the only Blu-ray disk on my software and you see here, here we go. <laughs> it worked! Well, for, of course, you know, I'm celebrating a little bit too early. Let's just uh, click on play movie, but I wouldn't be able to see it if, if, yeah, if I didn't have the Blu-ray software, right? because this is a Blu-ray disc. It will never show anything if you try to use uh, a regular DVD player. All right, and that's how you play DVD movies on your Mac. So if you're tired with poor selection of uh, regular DVD titles, so step one, do some research like I did on Google. Step two, go to the nearest electronics store. Um, because I find it's a bit better, at least I was able to speak to technicians over there. I was a bit worried about the requirements. But I did want to buy something that was already pre-tested for Mac, right? Like on Windows machines, it's like no big deal. But on Macs, because they don't... Well, the funny thing is that the operating system supports Blu-ray. Just that the Apple company does not sell their own Blu-ray players. I guess they're making too much money. They want to make money with Blu-ray players, you know, on top of that. So because of that, you have to buy a third-party Blu-ray player. But it connects fine. As you saw it, my computer recognized it. Uh, like there was a logo of a disc, mounted disc on the desktop. But then it wouldn't, it would not play it. So I had to buy this uh, software. IZ Soft Mac Blu-ray player, and how I found about it, there was a that's from my uh, Google search, because there was a story in I think it was Mac World, Mac World magazine from UK, on their website saying that this is how you turn your Mac into a Blu-ray, lean mean you know Blu-ray machine, right? And so basically, yeah, two steps: buy the Blu-ray player from a third party, doesn't matter which one, as long as it works with them. Uh, as long as it works with a Mac OS, and that's what it should say on the box. And that's what I checked over here. Let me just show you guys so that you... Well, first of all, it has the logo right over here. Mac. But also here, it's important to check. Well, my camera doesn't want to focus. But anyway, so it says here, uh, operating system compatibility system requirements and first line one says Windows 10 8 7 Vista XP but then below that it says Mac OS 10 10.6 and above and I know mine is uh, Capitan which is 10.11 uh, and so I double check with the store there I said I don't have a dedicated video card this one here says uh, dedicated video card is required and he says no that's all the requirement nowadays processes are so strong that it'll work even without um, without a dedicated video card and that's it so now I know the quality will be much better especially in uh, my Mac has a, a retina display and so I think it's a pretty good upgrade you know so it cost me uh, what this was uh, the software, like on the on the website, they say twenty four dollars, and then you click on the link, and and it turns out that twenty four dollars is for one year, but if you want to buy a lifetime version, which will keep updating automatically, that's uh, thirty four dollars U.S. And then I paid uh, this baby here it cost me hundred fourteen Canadian. So pretty much like $90 US. So basically expect to spend, but that one is an expensive one because that's a writer. 
like a DVD writer you don't need that to watch uh, Blu-rays right you just need a Blu-ray reader but you know this was the only box I found in the entire Best Buy in my area that was the only one on the shelf and unfortunately it was a Blu-ray plus a DVD writer so and I already s uh, found the movies I want to watch so I didn't want to you know order something from Amazon I wait like two weeks till I get something from their warehouse so but you probably you can probably buy a cheaper version probably like especially in the states maybe like 50 bucks but you still have to buy the software so so all in all after all taxes it'll still be about hundred dollars but if you love movies and if you want to have access to like a much bigger selection of movies in blu-ray format uh, I'd highly recommend you uh, go this route and uh, upgrade uh, your Mac so that on top of DVDs, so I can use now this to play regular DVD movies, uh, but now I can, I can also play Blu-ray movies. Mm -hmm.